you want to solo a Seaford nice and easy? Then this is your guide and I'm your guide. You can see if a Seaford is active from its green lights that are visible from miles away. Before we talk about the Seaford fight, let's mention our approach method first. Never sail in facing the gates or the front side depending on which side you are. Try to set a course facing one of four corners. From this angle, the cannons can hit you. Once you get close, the phantoms will come down and stop firing at you. Anchor your ship at the closed gate on the dock opposite from the one that's in the water. I'll explain why once we completed the Seaford. Raising your sail instead of anchoring is always the best practice. I recommend you use your sword and blunderbuss. It's a lot easier this way. By the way, don't forget your food. As soon as you anchor, run to the top. Find the bastion and position yourself in it with your back against the wall. From here, we are creating the perfect choke point. Here, we have everything in our face and a clear view for incoming enemy ships. After each wave, you can pop out to check the other sides too. While fighting the phantoms, you can loot bullets from the ground. If you run out of food, you can find barrels close by, so you can get more if needed. Once you've defeated the captain, you can search the cupboards and crates in the fort for the second key that unlocks the upper storage room. If you see another ship sailing towards you, I suggest you take the treasure room key with you and run, or fight, depends on what's coming, it's your choice. When you are safe, you can unlock the door at the top floor, then take the treasure room key, the one that drops from the captain, and move to the bottom floor. Once you unlock the door, you can start loading your ship. There are two ways you can do this. You can use the crane on the left and then swim or use a robot like Rare showed us on their Sea for Deep Dive video because it looks fun. But you can also lower the crane and use the harpoon from your ship. Or you can go the other way, that's a lot faster. That's the reason we anchored from that side and we can harpoon the treasure from the upper storage room too. One more thing to keep in mind is that these hanging barrels at the dock have the good food, if you know what I mean. You can use the levers if you can't reach them to loot the barrels. You can find more at the pool too. If you found this video helpful, consider liking and subscribing. See you in the next one and have a good one.